tonight. Today we're talking about Reed. Reed is actually the the most fascinating character in Fumero Alchemist by far. I love him. I totally love him. But there's one small problem. He's so dumb. Why is Reed so dumb? Just think about it. Think about it for a second. Let's let's just rationalize it. He gave us all, all his information here. He has been on the scene for 200 years. He has been trying to be big on the scene and be rich and be everything for 200 years. How, how is he not managing to do that? How has he not managed to do it? Think about it. The, the anime presents him in a, in a, in a gutter with a bunch of beasts and why? why? why is he like that? why Why is he not rich? why is he not in a house? why is he in the underworld? and of course, maybe that's there's some some actual deep meaning behind it but you gotta think about it you know, on a personal level how can a guy that is driven, that is Really, that actually wants to make something happen in the world has 200 years to do something to actually make something out of the world and he just doesn't do it and I think actually uh, I think actually he he presents the answer in his 13th episode right when we meet him because if you think about it he really doesn't empathize with people he really doesn't know what people want. So much so that when Edward finds him, he kidnapped his brother. And immediately Grid just tries, tries to be friends with Edward and tries to talk to him and tries to, to be buddy buddy. And dude, just think about it. What kind of moron would do something like that? Where he, the, the dude literally kidnaps his, his brother to try to get this eternal life or whatever why does he need to live anymore? he's lived for 200 years made nothing of himself and he wants more life like why? like what for? I mean really I, I mean yeah I, I, know, I know I know I know just don't 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 yell at me okay and he immediately not only does all this stuff and then he just regurgitates a bunch of information and he just expects Edward to just take it easy and it's like okay and I don't know it's it's also he really thinks everybody else is greedy like him everybody else just wants money and power for no reason and he doesn't understand that like again he doesn't empathize, empathize with humans because really if you think about it how, how is wealth generated? And let's not go to the, oh, you explore people. No, no, no. How is wealth actually created, generated by one person? The guy has to be useful to other people and to a lot of people. It's not like just one or two. Just look at any company you have, any company that's around. Just realize how many lives does a simple company touch to actually make some money, to actually make something of himself. I know this is a stupid example right now, but just think about this YouTube video, this YouTube channel, whatever. Dude, how many lives do I have to touch to actually make some, some money out of this? A lot, of, a lot of lives. How many clients, how many customers does any pet shop, any, I don't know, mechanic store has to actually get to actually start being the green and actually making money it's a lot of a lot of people and so much so that all these entrepreneurs all they, they talk about over time is uh, how do you scale a business and just by show by looking at this in this clip you can see greedy is really not He's really not empathizing, he really is not empathetical, and he doesn't make any money. And how, 
What does it mean to do to you, to me? And really, dude, just think about it. How many people do you know that are actually driven, that actually do a lot, but they somehow don't know how to be useful to other people, or they are useful, but they're just not empathetic, they're not, ju they're just not amicable, they don't like other people. And dude, the only way you, again, you get money is through relationships, is through other people. So that's something to think about. Through this character, we can uh, actually think about how to make money in the real world. And uh, that, that's what I'm trying to bring here today. And that's what, uh, that's what I'm trying to bring to this channel. Is getting fictional characters and trying to get other people to see real life examples through the anime. Which is pretty cool. And I just got some slides of Edward really getting angry. And there are two, two little side business that I really like. Let, let's just say two visual props that the creators built that, is, that, is, that are really cool. One is, if you remember, just some episodes ago, he met with Izumi Curtis, his, his teacher. And his teacher is ex does exactly this scene like two or three times. And this small scene that happens in the, I think it's the 13th episode, the, the one that I'm showing here, the Beasts of Dublin. This little, uh, little image prop just shows us that Edward is actually exactly like his teacher, which is really cool. And the second just small, small image prop, you can see the little Edward inside his mouth, which is really funny. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this this video. I hope you have some insights about your life. If you're actually watching to the end, please hit the subscribe button to get more videos. Please like this video. This helps us a lot. I don't know why, but it really does. YouTube likes engagement. Please hit the like button. Thank you very much.